facts about fast food. What are restaurants feeding your family, and who are they really targeting with their ads? Now, in its third year, this study has found some improvements, but it's still calling on fast food restaurants to offer some more healthful options, especially to kids. KCR3's Brian Hickey joining us now live from Sacramento with a look at what the study found. Yeah, the study says, however, no surprise that there is a lot of room for improvement when it comes to the fast food industry. This is a look at the study here. It's called the Fast Food Facts, fact standing for Food Advertising to Children and Teens Score. For the last three years, they've been studying the way restaurants are putting their menus together and also targeting their advertising to kids and uh, then documenting those numbers over the, th over the years and finding out what trends they're taking a look at. And what they found this year uh, is that many restaurants actually increase the number of items on their menu, but made no change to the ratio of unhealthy versus healthy options. They said that is making it very difficult for consumers to find those healthy choices that are on the menu, but they are uh, simply uh, drowned by unhealthy choices on the menu. And then add to that the marketing that they're doing, offering specials, two for this and two for that. And then you've got a, you know, you've got even more enticement to steer away from those healthy options, making it very difficult for the consumer to spot the good food. In 2012, four point. $6 billion was spent on advertising, an 8% increase over 2009, and most alarming to the researchers was the way that message was now getting to children. While they had scaled back on some television ads, they're now going direct with marketing on fa Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even on their cell phones. Um, unfortunate thing is when you actually go into the restaurant and look at all of the possible combinations that you can get with a kid's meal, um, almost all of them, 97% uh, of them are unhealthy and don't meet the nutrition standards even of the restaurant industry's own standards. It's amazing that you have all of the high fatty foods over here, a lot of choices, but only a few choices here on the stuff they should be eating. Now, if you really want to get into the numbers, you can log on to their website. And you can read the, uh, the actual raw numbers from the report, or they've done a great job of boiling it down into a four-page uh, shortened version of that. And uh, you can take a look at that if you're a concerned parent. It gives you a look at what the industry is doing to get that unhealthy food out there. It also has some great options for parents to teach your kids about how to make healthy choices, especially in this situation, and how to avoid some of that advertising. And then it even goes as far as highlighting restaurant by restaurant what those healthy choices are on the menu so that when you go in there, you can find them, seek them out, and make sure your kids are ordering the good food. Live here in Sacramento, I'm Brian Hicken, KCRA 3 News.